Good morning everyone and welcome to VKids. It's great to see you all again this Sunday morning. And good morning to you, Hamilton. Hamilton, can you remember what we've been learning about the past few weeks? You can? Well, yes, we've been learning about the promises of God, haven't we? And today we're learning all about how God promises to give us a purpose. And we're going to learn a little bit more about what that means later on. But first of all, I think we need to start our day with our joke of the week. So let's all say hello to Amanda for our joke of the week. Hi, Amanda. Hi, V Kids. It's Amanda with your joke of the week. What do you call a pig who does karate? A pork chop. <laughs> Over to you, Granny Page Turner. Yes, quite, yes, absolutely, yes. Oh, oh hello, de dears. Who, oh, who have we got? It's the V Kids. Hello, V Kids. Granny Page Turner here. It's lovely to be with you again this Sunday. Now, do you, what's, what's that, dears? Oh, oh, my knitting needles. Oh, no, it's because, do you remember I don't need them because I finished my knitting. I was knitting this sock for Hamilton. Do you think he likes it? It's a little bit more like a sleeping bag, but I think he's I think he's enjoying it, don't you? Now, do you remember our story last week? We learned about how Jesus calmed the storm, didn't he? He just said, shh, to the waves. Wasn't that amazing? And today we're learning about how Jesus called someone named Matthew to be one of his followers. And you know, Matthew wasn't a very popular guy. They didn't like him very much. So it was a bit of a surprise. So shall we all watch the story together? Let's watch it together now. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Matthew. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! Jesus was in Capernaum and he was walking along when he saw a tax collector named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were hated by everyone because many people thought they were cheaters and sinners. Oh, not like you. Ugh, let's get out of here. But Jesus saw this man and said, follow me and be my disciple. Me? Yeah, you. So Matthew got up, left everything and followed him. Later, Matthew held a banquet in his home hey, yes. with Jesus as the guest of honor. Uh, you to here. Oh, thank you. Many of Matthew's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. Ah, uh, yuck. Hey, you! But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Ah, uh, hold on there. When Jesus heard this, he told them, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, now go on and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. So Matthew went on to be one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed him throughout his time on earth. He even wrote a book in the Bible about Jesus' time on earth, and he served God for the rest of his life. Wow, Hamilton, didn't you enjoy that story about how Jesus chose Matthew, the tax collector, to be one of his followers? Well, we're going to find out a little bit more about what that means by going over to Professor Bonkers, who's in her science lab, ready to tell us a little bit more. So over to you, Professor Bonkers. Hello, 
everyone, Professor IB Bonkers here. It's great to be with you another Sunday morning. Now, wasn't that a great story about how God asked Matthew, that tax collector, to be one of his disciples? You know, no one liked Matthew, did they? He, was, he collected taxes. He was seen as, as a sinner or a cheater or something like that. But you know, Jesus went, he, he even went to have dinner at his house, didn't he? And you know, Jesus saw so much more in him than what other people saw of him just being this tax collector. And you know, it's the same with us. God has a purpose for each one of us. That's what we're learning about today, isn't it? That means he's got a special plan for each of us. Even if it might not feel like it, we might not feel like we've got any special talents or anything to offer, but you know, God knows and he knows that he's got a great plan for us. So that reminded me of an experiment. Yes, so what we're we going to do here, I've got some milk. Now I'm going to pour this milk onto this plate here. Now, do you ever have milk? You might have some milk on your cereal, you know. You might have a little cup of milk before you go to bed. You know, I like to have a nice cup of warm milk with my, with my little chocolate before I go to bed. Um, so we've got our milk there. Now, I've also got some food colour in here. Now, you know, milk can be, can be more than just something that you, might, that you might drink before you go to bed. And it's a bit like, you know, God sees so much more in us that we might see in ourselves or others around us might see, because he's got an amazing plan for us. And you know, I've got an amazing plan for this milk right now. It might just look like it's a plate of milk, but you know, there's so much more that's going to happen. So I've got some food color in here. I'm just going to put some food color in, in, in the middle of this milk here, just like that. I've got some nice reds there. There we go. Then I'm going to put some, oh, we've got some yellow here. I'm going to put some, add some yellow into it as well. There it goes, lots of yellow. I mean, it's not looking like much, is it? But you know, sometimes in our lives it can feel like, you know, things aren't happening for us. But you know, when we add Jesus, you know, amazing things can happen because he has great plans for us. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got some dish soap and I've also got some, Q-tips here with some dish soap on it. And let's see what happens when we add the dish soap. See if anything exciting happens here. Oh, can you see all the colors are moving out? They're all merging together, aren't they? And let's see what happens if I move this around. Can you see all the colors are spreading out? And then I'm going to add some more dish soap here. And I'm going to spread it all out here. Can you see all the colours in the milk are making a lovely marble shape, a beautiful, it's like a beautiful, colourful thing that was just that milk, wasn't it? And you know, Matthew in the Bible, he was a tax collector, but Jesus chose him to follow him. And you know, he ended up writing one of the books of the Bible. You know, spoiler alert, it's the book of Matthew. You know, so God has such amazing plans for our lives. So why don't you try this at home and see what you can do with some milk and some food coloring and some dish soap. All right, till next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. Wasn't that a fun experiment with Professor Bonkers? Well, now it's time to head over to Hamilton's house because we're going to find out a bit more about what our memory verse is for this week. So over to you, Hamilton. Hello V Kids, it's memory verse time. And the verse today is from Matthew 9 verse 9. And it says, Jesus said, follow me. You know, that's what he said to Matthew and Matthew became one of his disciples, didn't he? I hope you have fun learning that verse for this week and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you for sharing that memory verse with us, Hamilton, for today. And now it's time for our worship. But first of all, what do we need to do, everyone? That's right, Hamilton. We need to go over to Australia to Jenny Jogs a lot for our worship warm up. So over to you, Jenny. Oh, hey guys. Jenny Jogs a lot just out here in Australia, just trying to do some arm strengthening exercises because the song we're going to do today actually uses a lot of our arms. So we're going to do the Every Move I Make song. Yes. Should we go through some of the actions together? All right, let's stand up. So, do you remember, we go na, 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 na. Can I hear you singing that as well? Na, 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 na. Yes, you guys have got it. And then we do our every move I make, I make in you. And then we turn around, don't we? 
you make me move Jesus. Yes, amazing. All right, but before we go into our worship, we need to do our worship warm up, don't we? So we are going to do today our punches from side to side. Now, what do I always say? Yes, exactly. Make sure you're not standing too close to someone else in your house or if you're in V-Kids in person, make sure you put your arms out to the side to make sure you're not close to somebody next to you because we don't want anyone accidentally punching anyone else, do we? Okay, here we go for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing job, you guys. Let's all worship together. to the end of our V Kids for this morning but don't forget if you do try that Professor Bonkers experiment send in your pictures to us at vkids at vintagechurchla.com because we love to see how you guys are getting on at home but until next week we will see you very soon bye